It's hard to imagine, but before we had established measurement for pounds, feet, inches, and millimeters, we had common items that established measurement for us. These are things like the hand, or the span, or the thumb. Now in Canada, we use things like meters and kilometers, and these things are part of the SI system or the metric system, but we still see a lot of the imperial system looking at things like pounds and feet and inches. It's really important to understand measurement because you need to know how to calculate something, but also how to convert between them. Here we go over all that stuff. Here in measurement lesson number two, we're talking about reference in measurement. So we have things like the thumb, okay, or the hand. The hand is a lot like the span, but of course the span is from the pinky to the thumb when it is spread out, whereas the hand is looking at from the top of the hand to the bottom of the hand, and this one is often done vertically, okay? We also have something called the cubit. You don't hear much about that. And also the pace, it gives me a feeling of a yard. So with these, if you had a question like which one of the reference mentioned above could be used to estimate the following, what would you do for a length of a football field? What about the uh, compact flash card, which I would think is some kind of a SD card, or the height of the horse? So uh, go ahead and complete class exercise number one. Okay, well, we're back. I hope you completed class exercise number one. There's not much to say here other than something like the length of a football field. Using what we've got as far as reference, it would be a pace because that's the largest one. So you can just picture somebody pacing across the football field and calculating how many paces they made and then looking at making another football field and keeping the same number of paces. Now, if you have something super small like a uh, whatever this is, a compact flash card, SD card, thumb drive, you're probably going to be using a thumb to do the measurement. That's the lowest one that we have here, so that's the one I would choose. And then finally, the height of the horse. Often we actually hear about horses being measured in hands, so I would use a hand for that. Thanks a lot for looking at reference and measurement. There's not much to it. We just use the one that makes the most sense. Yeah.